Insects of different ages, mating status, rearing conditions, etc., often differ in flight propensity or performance. Flight mill experiments can reveal the relative effects of such factors on flight behavior. Though difficult to study in the field, flight mills allow extensive probing of flight under controlled conditions. Managing a pest's resistance to insecticides, including transgenic crops, requires understanding its flight behavior. Western corn rootworm dispersal is complex, and flight mill studies are helping clarify it. With adaptation, this method can be applied to almost any insect species, whether small or large, pest or non-pest. Tethering any insect is the most difficult technique to master. Beetles with a small pronotum, like rootworms, are especially challenging. Practice tethering individuals unimportant to your actual experiments, because many will be discarded. A long learning curve is expected, so be patient with yourself. There are many nuances to tethering. Watching someone is worth a thousand words. To begin, bend a 40 millimeter length 28 gauge steel wire 90 degrees at the center. Wash hands to remove any debris, dirt, or oil. Take a small amount of dental wax, slightly larger than a pinhead, and roll it between the fingertips until a ball is formed. Place an adult beetle on a flat surface and position its dorsal side up. Reposition the legs if necessary so that the beetle lies completely flat on the surface. Use a butane lighter to briefly heat the dental wax on the wire for less than one second. Do not reuse the wax.